Welcome back to another video on Waveform 12. Another thing that's been improved in Waveform 12 is the Quick Actions Bar. And I'm going to show you, one, how to get into it, and then some of the new things you can do with the Quick Actions Bar. Now, to open the Quick Actions Bar, there are a number of ways to do it. If you open the menu and go to View, you'll, you'll find right here, Show Quick Actions Bar. And then when you open that, you'll see the Quick Actions Bar. To decide which of the sets to see on here, you click this, and then anything that you've defined, like views or panels, you can choose those here. So for example, this allows you to just quickly click on something like this, like this will open and close the tempo view, or the arranger view, the marker track, or the chord track, those are just some of the things you can do with that. This turns on and off the toolbar. And you can extend it yourself by just clicking on plus, and then you can add anything you like. Another new feature in version 12 is the actions panel. You can have an actions panel that's separate from the browser that will open up on the left. We're going to assign that to the quick actions bar. Now that we've created a new button on here, go to assign action, go to keyboard shortcuts under view. Near the top here we have show or hide the actions panel. So now that I've got that in here, clicking it allows me to show or hide the actions panel. If I right click it, it tells me show or hide the actions panel. So that's a new feature. Before it was not as easy to figure out what an individual button does. Now if you right click on it, look here, you can see what it's assigned to. So that's how you assign the action. You can also change the color and that allows you to do that, and we can rename it. So rather than show or hide actions panel, maybe you want to call it something shorter like actions or maybe actions panel. Now we can show or hide the actions panel from our quick actions bar. Really useful. Another new feature is that you can choose from a wide variety of icons to put on here instead of this text. So Let's go to the icon, and you can see that we have all of these icons. Maybe this TV icon would be good for that. So now I click this TV button, and it shows or hides the Quick Actions panel. Along this, you can also drag these and position them any way you want. So if this is something you want over here, you can place it there. Now here's another cool new feature. You can have more than one of these open at the same time. So if we go here to the far right side, if you hit plus, it opens another actions panel on top of the one that you already have. So you can have a couple of things in here. Like I'm going to go to the note editing actions panel. And you can see this one here has been pre-built as one of the factory settings with a note editing toolbar that's got all kinds of useful stuff for note editing. You'll also notice in the menu here, there's options to delete one of these quick action bars, rename, you can duplicate them or create a brand new blank one. So on my track here, I have a simple MIDI clip that is playing into the new Rompler. So there's many useful note editing tools that are on here. Split note, this is a triplet capability, and this will shift your note up an octave. So this whole thing is in a pretty low register. So I click one note, use Command A, which would be Control A on a PC, and then just click this, and that moves them all up an octave. So now it sounds like this. And if I select a note, and I want to create a chord out of that, I can just click here, and, select, and it will make it into a triad. I'll undo that. Let's do that again, and then add the seventh. So that makes it into a triad plus a seventh. So just very handy capabilities. If you wonder what any button does, just right-click the button. And so, for example, this one is Merge Notes. So if we 
wanted to take this note plus this note, I'll just select them both and then click Merge Notes, and it makes it into one note. I want to convert this into a triplet, just select the note, and that divides it into three equal notes. We can also legato notes, for example. If we have some notes that are spread apart like that, we'll just select those notes, hit legato, and it makes them connect end to end. There's also a full set of nudge buttons here, so if I want to just go up or down, I can use those nudging back and forth along the grid increments. And I could also select some notes and hit randomize. And this gives you the dialog box to randomize velocity for those notes. You can load as many of these as you would like. We can have a whole collection of toolbars set to different functions that you can fully customize. And it just gives you another way of working and improving your workflow in waveform. So now you should have a much better understanding of the Quick Actions toolbar, along with the new features that are included with Waveform 12. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video very soon.